What's going on everyone? It is Ethan here, back with another video where today I'll be ranking and reviewing Michael Jackson's Escape. So this is a posthumous album released back in 2014. So today I'm just going to be taking a look at it, reviewing all the tracks for you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, you know, we got the album cover, which is really nice. I'll, I'll rank it like a B, you know, not the best album cover, but still really good album cover nonetheless. So yeah, this contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new tracks and eight of the original demos, plus a bonus Love Never Felt So Good featuring Justin Timberlake. So yeah, let's get into the tracks. Love Never Felt So Good, one of my favorites off this album. My favorite version off this album, which this might be an unpopular opinion, but my favorite version is the Justin Timberlake version. Like, I just think that he does a great job on that version, like with his verse. And yeah, just overall, I think that's the superior version. But yeah, Love Never Felt So Good, you know, just a nice, nice little love song, I guess. But yeah, great song. Next up, Chicago, which Chicago, you know, recently has been a little bit more popular than it has been, you know. And I understand why, like, Chicago is a really, really good song. Um, the demo is great as well for this. And also, I didn't talk about the demo for Love Never Felt So Good, but I really love the piano on that. But yeah, Chicago... Really, really good song, and you know, some people consider it the best song on the album, which I could understand why. Next up, another one of my favorites off the album, Loving You. Like, just another really good love song, which I just really love the vocals on this, of course. And yeah. Next up, A Place With No Name. Really, really great song. I really prefer the original, or not the original, the newer version than the demo. You know, but still... Both versions are great. But yeah, just a place with no name, just a really upbeat, nice song. Next up, Slave to the Rhythm, which is a really, really great song to dance to, I think. Like, one of the best songs to dance to, just Slave to the Rhythm. It's really nice. I love, like, the shackles at the beginning. Like, that is a really nice detail. Next up, we got Do You Know Where Your Children Are, which, in my opinion, is the weakest song on this album. Like, still a good song, but... Out of all these other ones, it's easily the weakest on the album, in my opinion. But yeah, I still do like the remix and the original version. Next up, Blue Gangsta, which another one I really love the demo and the new remix version. Like, both versions are really, really good, in my opinion. Next up, we got Escape, which this version, like the remix and the original, are like superior or not superior but they're like different in a way i don't really know what i was trying to say there but <laughs> escape like or the remix is more like dubstepy sort of like you know like 2014 ish or whatever you want to say but the original version in my opinion is a little bit better you know just not a little bit better a lot better i just love like the beginning like he's gone like that that little part is nice and yeah of course the justin timberlake version of Love Never Felt So Good. Just, just really love that song. So yeah, like in my other videos, I show you guys some of my collection at the end. And we got the Escape Vinyl, which is really, really nice. It has all of the original, or not the original, the remix versions of the songs. Plus the Justin Timberlake remix, which I really like this vinyl. I wish there was a vinyl that had uh, the original versions on it, but you know, it's still good. You know, got the nice gatefold. So now... For the ranking of Escape, Escape goes in between Off the Wall and Blood on the Dance Floor, right in the middle. Really, really good album. Really amazing album. But yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this series. If you guys saw some of the earlier videos I said I was going to review Got to Be There, Ben, and like the earlier Motown albums at the end. And I've decided now that I'm just going to do that in a completely different series. Um... For the album rankings, the next albums I'll rank will be the Jackson albums, and then I'll do the Motown Michael albums, then I'll do the Jackson 5. So yeah, stay tuned for all those videos. So yeah, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye!